Alright, I actually figured out what I'm gonna do for this round. I'm gonna activate the uh, metal head. Metal head. Because I'm a metal head. You're a metal head? No, no I'm metal, not. So you listen to. Not much. I, I know zinc and yellow zinc and alloy and aluminum. A little bit of nickel, stainless steel. I can go on. That's the only metal I know. Raw material. Raw material. Metal working. That is so raw. I know. I know a little bit about carbide burrs, as okay. well as abrasives. Nice. Uh, drill bits, cutting fluid. Uh, oh I am going God. to stop right there. This is the guy who knows what he's talking about. I'm all about that hair metal. Uh. But no, I'm not. I'm not a metal head. You know me. I'm, I'm actually. I'm. I'm a music lover. I jump from genre to genre. I just like music. Uh, what's your music? Oh. Your, your, what do you call it? Uh, taste genre? What's your taste, your grain of salt in terms of sound? I don't know. I kind of listen to almost everything. Except like, country. I mean, country's just weird. I actually started getting into country this year. Really? Yeah. Is it because of Taylor Swift? No, so actually. Hard. I'm slightly afraid to uh, say this on record but I will because I am honest I'm <laughs> oh that was so good that was so good um I'm I can't top that no I cannot top that let's go back to metalhead all right so I don't even do you know any metalhead songs like I know Metallica does Iron Man count I think so I honestly don't know Let's say it does. Okay, then, yeah, Iron Maiden. Then I guess I do know I know a couple of metal songs, too. Ah. Oops, that's not good. Uh-oh, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. Okay, good. Let's uh, do this. Let's do this. I know Run to the Hills. Uh, what's another Iron Maiden song that's pretty big? Dude, the most iconic one. Uh, damn it, one. The most iconic one. The, uh, the, uh, Be Thy Name. Oh, I do know that one. Let's see. As Everyone you know, has heard of not, name. I need to not get the red coins because, again, oh, secret yeah. star. Can I escape? Yeah. Yeah. Or do I have to go off the waterfall? No, yeah, I guess you have to. I'm going off the waterfall. Oh, I can actually activate the blue cap as well. Blue cap? Um, Am I going to do it right? Yeah, let's, let's just do it right now. Let's get the caps. Let's cap it all off. We're just right here right now. Let's cap a Mario. Cap of Mario. So anyway, other That's the blue cap right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Yeah. Okay, so there's Iron Maiden. Mm hmm I used to listen to In Flames. Is that a band or a song? Uh, it's a band. It's an album, huh? No, it's a, a band. Very In old, okay. I think they've been around since nineteen ninety two. Nineteen ninety two. In fact they were the one who started The Year um, I Was Born. Yes. Oops. But they started the um how do you pronounce, how do you say uh I guess melody hey, uh dark metal no not dark like metal, metal black uh, metal black metal death metal death Sorry. metal, death metal. Yes. you kind of went through a couple of stoppages right there I did because there's so much metal there is a lot of metal there's zinc there's <laughs> yellow copper. zinc there's copper and nickel okay there's too many to count Oh man, yep, I agree. I do agree that I, I can see why you got confused right there. But anyway, so that's all the metal I know. Hold on, can we, before we go on the metal, okay. just talk about this castle that Princess Toastool has? Like, Toastool? yeah, Princess Toastool. Okay. I, oh, that's right, you weren't here for the beginning. Her name's Princess Toastool. Okay. But like, inside it's flooded with water. Yes, that, I... That can't be that. good for her sanitation bill. Nah, are you kidding? No, like, the moat outside makes sense, but now you could fall to your death. Like, you could have homeless people Don't living right here. Let's I make know. Mario fall asleep so he could be a hobo. No, that takes way too long. Yeah, that does. This looks like a cannon, but it's actually the invisibility world. Oh my god! The invisibility world! I am wearing... You're invisible. The invisibility cloak. Remember that? Oh, yes. And everything is so... Of the invisible. Deathly Hallows? Uh... That's what I was thinking. You know, there's a theory that someone came up... In fact, J.K. Rowling herself has approved of this theory. Oh, oh, that, I think I know which one you're saying. Please say the one I'm thinking of. Uh, basically, the three death... Yes, yes, continue, Hallows, continue. You're on a good track. What they said was, uh, what you call it? Voldemort represented the older brother. 
Snape represented the second brother, and Harry represented the third brother. Please explain and why. Dumbledore represented death. Because <clears throat> Dumbledore is the only one who once possessed all three at one point. All three Deathly Hollows. Exactly. Which include the uh, the Elder Wand. Yeah, the Elder Wand. The uh, what's your, the, the what do you call the, I can't remember the name of the cell. The Resurrection Stone. The Resurrection Stone. And the third is the Invisibility Cloak. Jeez, why can't hold on? This is really upsetting me. You gotta jump now. Got it. All right. So what was I saying? So this theory. Basically, Voldemort. You know, he's so obsessed with power because he's a crazy maniac with power. But he had a bad childhood. He means well. So did Hitler. Yeah. Oh is man. That right? You know what? They both were genocidal freaks. Yep. And that is not an and, inaccurate no, comparison. And eugenics. Uh, so it's like genocidal. Freaks. Yeah. So I back can't. To what, yeah. Sorry. Back to what I was saying. So Voldemort represented the older brother, and in fact, he died because he was so obsessed with the search of power. For the Elder Wand. Yes. Now Snape. He lost his loved one, and he desperately wants her back. Snape was actually a really good story. Oh my god, I love Snape. I'm, I just want to say on, I just want to say on record that I did call Snape being a good guy. Oh, same here. Like I don't know how anyone didn't see that coming. But, I mean, it's I didn't really see hard. the love story, but I did know there was ulterior motives, and that he was, his dedication was towards Dumbledore, that and not Voldemort. Why did I do that? I think I had the feeling that he wasn't like you know. He was in for Voldemort back at the end of reading the Order of the Phoenix. Now it's pretty far. It yeah. took me uh Like it was just, you know, one of those hunches. I had a hunch. See, it was almost all but confirmed for me in oh by the way, spoilers. If you haven't read the Harry Potter series or read the read the books or seen the movies, then Yeah, I don't know why you'd Oops. expect Harry Potter in a Mario episode, but <laughs> Just in case, you may not want to finish this because I'm about to spoil it in case you didn't. But what got me, how I knew, what the dead giveaway for me was in the sixth book when Snape killed Dumbledore. That was supposed to be... Why'd I do that? I do not know. We all just have to drink some water. And I just realized <laughs> I need the metal head right here. <laughs> so there's no purpose for me to doing that. But if you remember in the sixth book... Snape kills Dumbledore? Yes. And that's what kind of started the whole discussion of is he evil or is he good? And I knew from him killing Dumbledore, he was good. That's kind of weird to hear, but let me explain. The reason why is because in the book, you could tell Dumbledore was in control of the situation. Oh, so just the wording that J.K. Rowling used and how you could tell Snape was... Oops, hold on. Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> rewind. Yeah, rewind. Let's get back to this. Alright, I'm back from once more. Let's try this one more time. And as I try this one more time, let's hopefully... Yeah, let's hopefully not kill myself. Like like Dumbledore did with Snape. You like that segue? You like that segue? It's like we Dumble never left. Bird. Double bird? Double burn. Oh, double burn. Alright, so, just the way that Dumbledore said, it's o he didn't say it's okay, Snape, but you could just tell that, With its I just felt, thing. yeah, I just felt that Dumbledore planned on, uh, okay, I gotta make a one fluid motion, one fluid motion, I will finish this theory, and I will finish this world, or at least this star, hold up. Okay, just in case I die, I'm doing it right now. The, the reason why is because, like, I could tell the spoiler based on the wording, based on the situation that Dumbledore told Snape to kill him. It was predetermined. It was something they set up, and I didn't know the reasoning why. I just knew it had to be a reason, and I trust Dumbledore. Why would Dumbledore... Yeah. Alright, one fluid motion. One fluid motion. One fluid motion. Yeah! Yes! Yes! yes. Bye -bye. Here we go! So, oh, sorry. You mind if I finish the theory of the Deathly Hollow brother? I'm sorry, yes. I, I so, just wish I wasn't pulling a Voldemort and Al Albus Dumbledore and just, I just kept dying. <laughs> go ahead. But, so, let's see. Back to what I was saying. So, Snape, you know, he wanted to be with his loved one. Mm -hmm. and Which was really sad. Thing is... To do whatever it takes just to, I guess, that get that vague feeling that, you know, 
to be with his loved one once again, it drove him to his death. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, there's Harry, who is, you know, as the third brother. If you remember the third brother, he escaped death, which, you know, Wait, what the Harry did with that was Voldemort. Stupid. And when, when he finally meets death, he welcomes him with an, you know, mm -hmm. as an arm. old friend. As an old friend. Old exactly. friend. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Dumbledore was the last person Harry saw uh, when, you know, when Harry technically died because, you know, Harry was technically because they a area was, yeah. And so when Harry died, who did he meet? Voldemort. Dumbledore. At, sorry, Dumbledore. I don't know why I said Voldemort, but... And, as I said, Dumbledore once possessed all three of the Deathly Halls and he bestowed it to all of them. I mean, Voldemort grabbed the, the Elder One from his cold, dead hands. The... Uh, Resurrection Stone once belonged to Dumbledore, and Dumbledore was the one who actually gave Harry the invisibility cloak at the Philosopher's Stone. Mm -hmm. So what? Dumbledore's death? Wait, this isn't the one I want. This is star number, not this one. Star number, not Ooh. this one. Not this one. But yeah, that I need to stop killing theory. myself. I'm only on one life. <clears throat> so yeah, that is probably the only theory that. J.K. Rowling has actually agreed saying, yeah, this is very possible. And it makes sense. It was really creative. My favorite my favorite one was exactly the uh, reading him like an old friend. Because that makes the yeah. most sense. I really love him, that. By the way, do you, do you remember the actor that played Snape? Snape? Yes. Uh, Alan Rickman. He did a phenomenal job oh during God. Snape's memories. Because I remember reading it and feeling moved, but that face of misery... Holding, and if you really think about it, it's kind of creepy. Nah, me personally, it's kind of creepy having me like, dude, just let her go. Be like, dude, she's been dead for so long. And I guess for a little bit, he did let her go. But seeing Harry again at school and constantly seeing Lily's eyes in Harry. He sees Lily's eyes and, and you know, he wants to check it. But at the same time, he doesn't want to because Harry looks exactly like... Exactly his, like his father. Yeah, James the father. And he hated James because mm -hmm. James was actually a bully. He's one of the few douchebags that everyone just likes. Exactly. And in fact, that's actually very surprising because, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, everyone wants to be a Gryffindor. Gryffindor is filled with brave, uh, courageous, righteous people. But that's not true. Okay, let's face it. Uh... What's his name? Sirius was kind of a douche. James was a douche. Sirius is cool. Especially Pettigrew. Oh my god. Pettigrew. Biggest snake. Alright? And in fact, he wasn't even a snake. That's funny. He was a lion. Ah! Oh man. Actually, he was a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I do. And what you call it? Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, Hey, um, since you're on the topic of Gryffindor real quick, can I yes. say another little Gryffindor? Please, please. The people who are in Gryffindor, because Gryffindor is, uh, is known for its bravery, correct? Yeah, there's a synonymous with bravery, righteousness, and loyalty. Yeah, and Once the thing is, the, the only way that you can get into Gryffindor is, uh, that I, the theory that I know of is by asking for it. Harry oh, yeah. was supposed to be in Slytherin. He is more fit to be a Slytherin. But he then. said not Slytherin, and that took guts to go against what you're supposed to be, like what the world tells you to be. That takes that bravery. That takes guts, and that takes loyalty to yourself. That's why he went to Gryffindor. Hermione, she was very knowledgeable. She she is more. She could be a Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Right? But I think it was her desire to fit in with the Wizarding world. I think. That I don't know true. her reason. I mean, she is a. Muggle-born. Yeah. Right. But the more common one is Ronald Weasley and his desire to be not let his family down. Because he should he could have been yeah. a Hufflepuff. Oh, yeah. But He's he want, he wanted to continue the family name and stuff like that. Be like his brothers, <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah. So the only way you can get to Gryffindor is by asking to be in Gryffindor. Yes. And that's why you see people like Neville Longbottom, who didn't really show any bravery until the end of the series. Oh, he ended up being one of the most brave, most yeah. integral characters. As you can tell, I'm burning time because I'm in oh, the yeah. episode right here. So um, instead of burning more time, let's just sign out. Till next time.